To create an eFunds account, begin by selecting Register Here under the New User section on the eFunds homepage. Under the Sign Up section on the new screen, fill in all required fields. Create a username of your choosing. The password you create must be at least seven characters long, including at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter, as well as one numeric character. Complete the remaining fields with your name and email address and click Sign Up. After creating the account, you will need to link your children to your account. This can be done in one of two ways. You can add your children individually by using their student ID number. A child's student ID number can be found in Skyward Family Access on the Student Information screen under Other ID. Insert this number next to Student Number in the provided field in eFunds. Type the student's last name in the box below Student Number and click Add. This will automatically pull up that particular student. Alternatively, to add all students in a particular family at once, you can add the student by family ID. The family ID can also be found in Skyward Family Access. From the student information screen, click on the link that says View Students Family. This will open an additional profile screen which will include the parents' names as well as the family ID number at the far right of the window. In eFunds, Insert the number in the Family ID field. Insert the student's last name in the box below Family ID and click Add. All students associated with this family will automatically be pulled into your eFunds account. To add a payment source to your eFunds account, choose Payment Information from the Account Settings menu. Here you are given the option to add a new checking account and or a credit debit card. We will begin with the checking account. Using the image provided as a guide, enter the routing number you can find on the front of your paper check. As you enter the routing number, the bank should automatically populate for you to choose. Enter the checking account number twice to verify the correct number. Scroll down the account setup page noting there will be a $15 charge for any payments returned as non-sufficient funds and the payment will be tried an additional two times. Additionally, there is a $1 convenience charge for each payment made by electronic check, regardless of the amount. Check the box at the bottom of the screen that all information is correct and you agree to pay the associated fees and click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. You can also add a credit or debit card to your eFunds account. Click on the New Credit Debit Card tab to begin. eFunds only accepts MasterCard, Visa, and Discover cards at this time. Fill in all the required information for your card. In the Consent section, check the top box stating that you will be charged a $2.65 fee per $100 charged in your credit card by the third party provider. The third party may also combine multiple charges into one to reduce the fees charged. The second box under the Consent section is an acknowledgement that using a checking account has a reduced fee and you agree to pay the higher fees in order to use your credit card for payment. After checking both boxes, click Save. Your eFunds account is now set up and ready to use.